Kennedy and uh, a real hero, a real hero of Great Britain. Into the F1 teams, how about this, the Ferrari Marjane in the 2010, 2.5 litre V8, singing away, screaming away. Marjane with Fernando Alonso, 2010 car. As Chris said, screaming away behind him, he's running the wet tires just to make sure that he's got the grip. As he howls his way past Goodwood House, up, as you can see, not the straight. As he comes into Malcolm Corner, down the gears, one, two, three, four times. And now he'll release those prancing horses. This is the highlight event for so many of us here at every festival of speed. Uh, lots of tire burning, lots of smoke, lots of noise, and glorious noise it is too. It is indeed, yes, and uh, the whole angry bees that they were when they were off the line and going away into the far side of a circuit in those formative laps, and then the silence befell the start line, and then they would appear back through the complex into Silverstone and then across the start finish line again before the wing was uh, built. Now here is our first glimpse of the Mercedes-Benz hybrid car. So make your judgment on the current F1 noise. Lots of fuss about it when it first came out. That seems to have died down, but it's a very different noise, isn't it, Terry? It's not quite the same, is it? And as it accelerates its way away, it's Pascal Verheim that is at the wheel of the 2014 1.6-litre V6 turbo hybrid Mercedes-Benz W05. Here, though, is a current Grand Prix driver in the shape of Julian Palmer. Palmer, who is with the Renault squad this year. GP2 victor and some fantastic victories that he had in GP2, certainly deserving his Formula One drive. Such good news at Renault putting funds behind the team at Enstone, who struggled for so many years. It's going to be quite a program before they're back to the front of the grid, but they're determined to do it. And great to see that Jolian keeping some of his father's crash helmet colour scheme. And Jonathan, who, uh, who drove in Formula One through the turbo era and then into the normally aspirated era. Zaxby, Tyrrell, uh, some of his teams, and now his son driving. How proud must Jonathan Palmer be? Pierre Gasly, hot shoe in GP2, doing really well in GP2. In the tough school of the Red Bull team, but uh, really enjoying this chance to get in the RAG and have a good F1. He's a delightful young man and a really skillful driver. 2012 car, 2.4 V8 in the back of that ex Sebastian Vettel car that uh, took uh, he and Red Bull to the third world championship of the four. 2010, 11, 12, and 13. Ch Meanwhile... Change of song. <laughs> Very much a change of song. Uh, reminder that next weekend at Battersea, we've got Formula E in London. It's going from strength to strength. And as it whirs its way towards the top of the hill, uh, it's interesting to see that Jaguar coming into Formula E next year, so another manufacturer with Williams Grand Prix engineering technology and their hybrid systems and their electric systems, should I say, uh, coming into Formula E. Here's Meanwhile, here is the 2009 Formula One World Championship winning car with the Braun and Martin Brundle. A treat for us, a treat for Martin. He hopped in yesterday with a broad grin on his face, loving every minute. Careful to protect the car, it's unique, there are no spare parts, he's not going to bend it. And doesn't this sound wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. Jensen Button here today, he's got one of these chassis, they only built three of them. Mercedes have one, Ross Braun has another, this is Ross Braun's car, and Jensen Button, he has his at home. This is a piece of British motor racing history, built by... 
the guys at Brackley. They so they were so sad in early December when so many people had to lose their jobs when Honda pulled out. But Braun, what a phoenix from the asses, ashes. And so great that some of the people that had to be let go are now re-employed with Mercedes. Stoffel van Dorn in the McLaren. Stoffel's had two F1 races. Taking uh, Fernando's place when Fernando was injured, Stoffel is definitely a star of the future and wow to be back in this lovely mclaren you can just imagine that mclaren with Ed and senna wheel to wheel as james hunt said at the barcelona grand prix in 1991 talking about wheel to wheel with a williams this is karun chanduk in the fw17 the uh, normally aspirated uh, Renault V10 in the back of this car. Thierry Boutsen, Ricardo Patrese driving this car in 89-90. And this was a combination with Williams and Renault that actually led the very first non-turbocharged Grand Prix of Brazil in 1989. It won some Grand Prix with Boutsen. And I believe this was the one that won in Hungary. It's been brilliantly restored to tip-top condition by Williams Heritage. A, uh, a massive museum and an archive and a treasure trove from those early cars of Williams winning their first Grand Prix with record Zoni, winning their first World Championship with Alan Jones and then, as they say, the rest is history through the PK, the Mansell years and then into the Rothmans Williams years with then Jacques Villeneuve, Damon Hill and Toby Williams have got a, a huge warehouse full of their old Grand Prix cars. Gradually they're bringing them out, fettling them, making as good as new. Some for sale, so you can go and talk to Williams if you want to buy a, a, a historic Williams F1 car. Right, I'm off then. Oh, are you? <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm off to find if I can uh, purchase one of those ex-Williams Formula One cars. Great to see them here at Goodwood.